ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, and welcome back to our Grand Theft Auto 3 Nostalgia Series Let's Play that we're uh, doing here on this channel. So, I believe, believe, and I'm really bad at getting this correct, but I believe this will be the 8th episode. So, um, I do hope that you guys are enjoying it. If you are enjoying this series, please do me a huge, huge favour. Smack that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's very, very helpful to the growth of the channel, and it means you will be alerted when more of these videos are uploaded. Alright, now that the uh, BS is out of the way, let's see. Do we have a car? No, we don't. Okay, we're going to go rob someone. Cool. I mean, not cool for them, but that's, that's cool. You know, whatever. Um, so... The last episode we did a job very, very badly for Tony Cipriani, so I feel like uh, we've done some phone calls, we've done Tony, now it's time to go back and see Joey. So, that's that's what we'll do, we'll go back and see Joey, see what uh, Mr. Mechanic Man uh, has for us, and uh, unfortunately we're not going to go see Joey Tribbiani, we're going to go see... I don't even know his last name, I just know him as Joey the Mechanic. Good to know that I know my content that I am producing here, back to front. Jeez, this taxi drives quite well actually, I'm very surprised. Whoops, okay, try not to hit the cop like that. Whoops. Well, that was not ideal. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Marty Chonks. We'll get to you again one day. Open the door into another taxi. There we go. Dead skunk in the trunk, hey? Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, just the guy I need to talk to. All right, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, all right? Okay, that sounds relatively simple, but just something tells me through my experience that it's not just going to be as simple as, you know, just get the car and take it to the crusher. I just sort of have this feeling knowing Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto, even though this is an early game, that uh, they're well known for throwing in curveballs that you least expect. Oh, actually that means we're going against traffic. Oh well, I haven't uh, obeyed the law yet, so I don't know why I'd start now. Oh, it's in that car park, okay. So, nothing looks too awry at this point, surprisingly. Just get the feeling that somebody might... Yeah, okay. There's a car that was there, and it's the Ferrelli brothers, and now they're going to... Oh god, lag. Big time lag. Oh yeah, lovely view there in the back. Dead, uh, dead Ferrelli brother. Wow, the Ferrelli brother's car is fast. Whoa! Okay, we're going to have to do a bit of evasive driving, except this vehicle is not capable of doing evasive driving. Oh wow, okay, we've got more than one. We have more than one Ferrelli brother after us right now. Hmm. And, and the boots off the uh, back of the vehicle as well, uh, displaying the dead body for everybody to see, which I'm sure is absolutely wonderful. And it's not a uh, suspect at all. As we take out a few more bodies that we can just add to the boot on the way to the crusher here. Just making sure that everyone is uh, disposed of in good measure, basically. All the gang members, that is, anyway. Although we seem to have a, a significantly good ability to take out the elderly uh, people of Liberty City as well. I guess I'm kind of doing them a favour, because in uh, 20 years' time, they're probably going to die of COVID anyway. Actually, that's really harsh to say that. 
a joke, it's a joke, don't get too butt hurt. Well, we're gonna have um, Ferrelli Brother Soup in a moment. Which, uh, you can find at all your good uh, local uh, food shops, speciality food shops. Don't know if I recommend it, but uh, you know, it's there for those of you who are fucked up enough to <laughs> purchase something like that. Or somebody like myself who's even fucked up, up uh, enough to dream up something like that in whilst I wait for a car to be crushed. So there's an insight into my head, a slightly scary insight into my head, but don't worry. Oh yeah, we can't climb walls in this game. This was uh, this game was produced back in the day before the human had uh, discovered the ability to uh, climb walls. Interesting. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no. Amazingly, no car alarm. Interesting. All right, back to Joey. Let's let's make this episode all about um, Joey. Except it's you know, plot twist. It's got nothing to do with kangaroos. This is quite a decent car, actually. A bit of a whoa, mate. I say as I'm probably the one running the red light, but uh, you know, different rules for me. To T compared to everyone else. That's a lamppost. That's another elderly person that we've just taken out. Uh, I guess it's extra points when you take those ones out. Whoa, mate! And I come be between six and two for... Oh. Okay. Alright. Tony Cipriani then. Sure. Sounds good to me. Luckily, there's not too much uh, distance between Joey and Tony, especially when you drive like I do. What the hell is that cop running from? Or towards, should I say. Slightly concerning. The pickup. Tony's off making people bleed. Or try to. He'll never be as tough as his pop. But he left you a note on the table. The laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Cipriani? Could have sworn that would be pronounced Cipriani. So, okay. Tony Cipriani then. Sure. I need your van. I'll get you. No? Okay, you don't want me to have your van? Right, I'm taking, um... Get out of my car! Sorry, mate, I work for Tony. Whoa. Okay, this car just doesn't turn in quite like the other ones. One of these cars is not like the other ones. I don't know what the random, uh, gunfire was. If it's at me, well, you know. Cool. My money, my problem. My money, my problem. Um. Is that not where we... Okay, that's not where we were meant to go. I could have sworn that he said go to the laundry. I oh, know, there's an alleyway. Okay, well... Take out my baseball bat. Okay. They're coming at me from all ends. It's a fucking uh, triad gangbang. Uh, why is my my controller's not working? My controller's not working. <laughs> That's really weird. My controller's just uh, decided to shit itself. Um, right. Cool. Talk about timing. Alright. Controller's back connected. Windows. Don't screw me over again. Back to Tony's we go. 
Oh, actually, I'm going to need to stop via the ammunition on the way. And the ammunition is... Somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, it's down this alleyway. Fucking move, mate! Can't you see this is a road as well as a... Now, I wonder, is that gun always in the alleyway? The, the nine in the alleyway that he always leaves? No. Why would it be? That would make too much sense. Alright. Cool. Cool. Uh, right, fair enough. All good. That gives us some weaponry. We're going to just quickly take it round the back into the alleyway and just make sure that the controller isn't going to uh, screw with me. Hmm. The aim is now not working. Now it is. Okay. Good. Controller seems to have its shit under control. There's a uh, play on words that I didn't mean to achieve. Yeah, just run two people over in front of the cops. That's a good idea. Unless they've got literally people hiding out, looking. But anyway, now I know it's going to be a setup. Yeah, 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 I know, they're coming at me from all directions. Um, hello? It's done it again to me, it's just completely disconnected. This time we're going to try something different. Once they start, uh, once we get the ability to move, we're going to run. We're going to get out of that alleyway. And then we're going to shoot. And maybe that will potentially fix the error that's occurring. So I wonder also if I do something quite sneaky here and I actually block that alleyway too. I wonder if they somehow can still get in. That would be interesting. Yeah, okay, I understand. Now stop giving me this stupid camera to show where they're coming from. I need a car. I need a car. Give me your car. Right. So basically what I've done here is I've completely removed my um, requirement to utilize weapons. Instead, I'm using a uh, movable weapon. And then, I'm sort of hoping if I can put them in a position Get out, of, get out of there, do it, Yui. Sorry about that, mate. Bring the lamppost down on you. And goodbye. Oh yeah, he's hiding down there. Come get me! What?
There we go. Did that completely without actually drawing a weapon. Therefore, uh, no issues with the controller deciding that it didn't want to work. It's obviously related to that particular cutscene and the way the camera uh, starts the cutscene once they've shown us the triads coming at us. Clearly, for some reason, bugs out the controller and makes none of my buttons work. So, solved the issue by just using the keyboard to run. And then, because I got out of the area and into a car, the controller worked. Simple as that. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to uh, head back to the house. So, that was frustrating, but at least I'm now aware of the fact that sometimes certain cutscenes may cause issues, because I am actually using a mod to make my Xbox controller work with this game, because, of course, Xbox One controllers have very different buttons to the original Xbox controller, meaning that this game is actually not designed and mapped to work with an Xbox One controller. So, potentially hence the issues. Now, it could just be me, or it could actually be a thing. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that does bring us to the end of this Let's Play uh, episode number eight, I believe, here in uh, the Grand Theft Auto 3 Nostalgia series. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, if you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button, uh, giving that uh, subscribe button a nice bang as well, uh, just so that you can uh, keep up with this series if this is something in you enjoy. But uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, wherever you are in the world, you make sure you look after yourselves, stay safe, stay well, don't do anyone I wouldn't do, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.